Hi guys. Yeah, I hope you recognize the voice. So, a lot of people have been asking me to jump to financial math since they were dealing with financial math currently at their schools. So, this is it. I hope you watched the previous video where I teach you how to make the subject of the formula because I'm not going to do that here. So, in financial math, we're going to start with simple interest. Ah... Uh, this is the basic formula of simple interest, where I is your interest, interest. Now this, the interest is count is calculated by future value, future value minus your present value. Now remember that your interest can never, can never be negative unless the company or whatever it is is working at a loss. Ne? And then your P is your present value. Present value. R. Now R is the interest rate. It's not the interest, but the interest rate. So it's interest rate. You can see the interest rate by the number of percentages. Now, this is how you calculate your interest rate. It's whatever, whatever number that is, there is that you will be given divided by 100. This is how you calculate it, your interest rate. So your interest is, you can see it by R in rands or maybe dollars, whatever currency they've given you. Your rate, you see it by percentages. Please be careful of that. And then your T is time in years. Now, guys, I want you to take note of something that a lot, a mistake a lot of people make. Your interest. Your interest is the money that you accumulate that is ill. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Let me start with your present value. The present value is the amount of money that you have now or that person has now. Usually they will say the person is saving that money now or is investing that money. Got it? Good. Now, the future value is the amount of money the person will have in future. Maybe after investing that money for a year, two years, or three years. That's the amount of money that they will have, depending on the question. So, I want you to be careful when placing the future value and the present value because it can be very tricky. Now, your interest is where you, you subtract your future value from your present value. So please make sure that you understand this, the, this different amount of money because you can get it wrong if you put them in the wrong places. Got it? Good. Now, I have a question here from one of our learners. She wanted me to do this. So I really hope this was not an assignment or something because I'm not going to do your assignments for you. Now, the question says, calculate the principal that must be invested after four years at 9.5% per annum to earn 779 simple interest. Now, since it's written simple interest, we are going to use the formula of simple interest. Now, what do we have here? We are given T, which is four years. We are given R, which is the interest rate. We are given that it's per annum, meaning it's done once a year. And then we are given the interest here, which is 779. Now, what they are asking for us is the value of P. Now, how do we, how do we calculate P? From, from this, we know that P is equal to I over RT. If you do not know how I came about this equation, please watch the previous video that talks about the subject of the formula. Please do that. Now, let's go to work. Mm -hmm. So, the value of I in this question, in this 
question our interest our interest will have to be 779 which is the money that is hope he is hoping to to gain so it's going to be 779 and then our r which is the interest rate is given by 9.5 9.5 remember that we divide this by a hundred did i tell you that yes i did divide that by a hundred which will give you from our calculator it's going to be nine point five divided by a hundred 0.095 ne? and then what are we looking for t is given by four years so that's our time in years so t is equals to four years so all you have to do is just substitute every uh, the information you've written here into this equation so what you will have is 779 all that over 0 0.095 multiplied by remember that brackets are multiplication from the previous videos now guys I do not have a, a scientific calculator I'm using my phone to calculate so I'm going to start with this one here since it's 779 with no partners I'm going to say 0 0.095 times 4 you get 0 0.38 yay yay and then we say 7.7779 divided by 0 0.38 we get 2050 done we are done with the first question now the second question says find the future value now there are two ways into finding the future value in this instance we have the present value again okay? so future value is seen by s so if future value it's the present value plus your interest This is one way to do it. So it's going to be P plus I. Ne? Now, in this instance, we found P to be 2050. So it's going to be 2050 plus, plus our interest here, which we were given. We didn't have to calculate that. 779. And then take our calculator again. Hey, my daughter. So it's going to be two zero five zero plus seven seven nine. Two thousand eight hundred and twenty nine. And since we were key, it's important to to include the to include this rent. Sorry, it's very important. Now. The second way into calculating this is if you are not given the value of the interest. So if you do not have the interest, you're going to use this formula. The standard formula of the future value is, equal, is S is equals to P1 plus RT. Now this is the formula of the future value. If you are not given the, 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 the interest, not the interest rate, but the interest so what you will use is s is equals to the p that you that you were given here p so it's going to be two zero five zero one plus the value of r do you remember the value of r yeah this one 0 0.095 times the value of t time in years which is 4 
now it gets easier if you have a scientific calculator but since i don't have that i'm going to have to use my old 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 calculator so it's gonna be two five yeah two zero five zero one plus zero point zero nine five times four see the same answer two eight two nine so this two eight two nine i found here i also got here so you can use either one of these provided that you are provided with the interest got it good 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 and good you're gonna get your marks now the the the, the thingy when it comes to number six, it says, if you were not given the interest rate 9.5, show us how you were going to find it. How were you going to find the 9.5 if you were not given the interest rate? So now we do not have this, but we do have our P here, which is 2050. Now we go back to our standard equation. I is equals to PRT, right? Now, we want to make T the subject of the formula because, no, we want to make R the subject of the formula because we are calculating the value of R, right? So, R is going to be I over that and that, P and T. Again, if you don't know how I got this, go back to the example of the previous video making the subject of the formula so what we are going to do here is what's the value of i seven seven nine over our p two zero five zero times t which is four is four years then we go back to the calculator bah. 2050 times 4 779 divided by 8200 and then it's going to be 779 divided by 8200 which is equal to 0 0.095 now when calculating the interest rate when you found your your final answer you multiply that by a hundred to turn that into to convert it into percentages so it's 0 0.095 calculator 0 0.095 times 100 then it's 9.5 which is 9.5 percent and then you can see that this 9.5 is the same as that 9.5 which we were given here as 9.5 and then you get your full marks that's about it with uh, regarding a simple interest i'm not sure if it goes it's going to get any harder than this but simple interest is very simple so yeah not that's about it with simple interest so if you want to watch more videos go to education spot South Africa. This is our Facebook page. Group rather. On Facebook. Facebook. And then on YouTube. It's Edu Spot South Africa. If you have not yet subscribed, Click the subscription button. It's totally free. Below or on top. I'm not sure where to find it. But yeah, that's about it. And if you have any question, you can leave them on the comment below or email us at edu spot777 at gmail.com. 
email us your questions here and we'll be sure to do them on our next videos so yeah that's about it so this was the pretty face peace out